Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Can anybody say backfire? I know I certainly can. I seem to say it almost every single week. They keep attacking Donald Trump from every angle, multi-pronged attacks, and it all just seems to backfire. I guess that's what happens when you're dishonest actors attempting to use the system to go after a private citizen and former president. There's checks and balances built into the system. The American legal system is the best in the world. Well, what ends up happening if you attempt to weaponize it for political gain, I guess you get exposed by the man standing up against all of it, President Donald J. Trump. It started off with little Fanny Willis. She was supposedly the one to take Trump down, but it all turned against her, and now she's the one under investigation, which she isn't taking so well. Here she is with a very sassy attitude when being questioned on the fact that she's now facing subpoenas and investigations. Will you appear before a Georgia uh, Senate committee uh, without a subpoena? Well, first of all, I don't even think they have the authority to subpoena me, but they need to learn the law. <laughs> so will, will you appear, yes or no? I, I will not appear to anything that is unlawful. And I have not broken the law in any way. I, I said it, you know, I'll say it amongst these leaders. I'm sorry folks get pissed off that everybody gets treated evenly. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I think she answered that very well. <laughs> we went from Fanny Willis is taking down Donald Trump from now. Fanny Willis has been completely exposed and is now facing investigations. And well, I guess that trend continues. We're going from little Fanny now to little Jackie Smith boy, who might just be in some serious serious trouble. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, friends, so take a look at this from the conservative brief. Trump demands that Jack Smith be arrested following court filing. Former President Donald Trump put pressure on Joe Biden's Department of Justice to take legal action against special counsel Jack Smith following an explosive admission in a legal filing last week. Smith's prosecutors informed U.S. District Judge Aileen Cannon, who is overseeing the classified documents case, that some evidence is no longer in its original intact form, prompting outrage from Trump. Arrest deranged Jack Smith. He is a criminal, Trump wrote in all caps on Truth Social, as one of the several posts that he made over the weekend after Smith's prosecutors informed Cannon that there are some boxes where the order of the items within that box is not the same as they appear in the digital scans of materials in the wake of the FBI retrieving them at Trump's Florida resort in August of 2022. Smith's office acknowledged that this statement is inconsistent with what the government had previously informed the court. Initially, they had stated that the only alterations made were the removal of some classified documents and the insertion of placeholders in their stead. The filing addressed defendant Walt Nada's request for additional time to learn the contents and organization of the documents seized. It specifically identified which documents were in which boxes and the correct sequences of documents within those boxes. Smith's filing noted that the current order of the boxes doesn't match the scans of them that were made earlier, which is a problem according to legal experts. More problems for Jack Smith. But more importantly, or at least my view, more proof that Jack Smith is running a rinky-dink little operation. I mean, what is wrong with this guy? You might be thinking this isn't a big deal, but trust me when I tell you this is a massive deal, and this could cause major problems for Jack Smith's little case here. There's now a whole other tangent of this case, another grounds to file motions and challenge on the issue of evidence tampering. John Ratcliffe chimed in on Fox News. In terms of the classified documents case, I, I remember the infamous picture that the FBI took of all those classified documents that they said that they took from Mar-a-Lago. Specifically, tell me about what you're saying that what evidence was tampered with and, and did the FBI tamper with this? Yeah, so that, that famous photograph, what we have now learned uh, and the government has had Jack Smith and his prosecutors uh, have had to admit is that that was staged and those top secret uh, classified sheets that all the public saw and said, oh my God, look at those uh, top secret documents. Those were placed there by the FBI. And, uh, and, and what Jack Smith admitted in court this week was that in his words, they mishandled the classified documents and misrepresented those to the court. Maria, that's a kind way of saying we tampered with the evidence and when, then we lied to the court about it. And they got caught when President Trump's lawyers and the other co-defendants raised this issue and said, look, the documents here don't match up. The documents that were presented to us don't match the digitally scanned records of when they were taken from Mar-a-Lago. And, and Jack Smith, not only did they tamper with that and lie to the court about it, but he's now admitted to the court 
that he doesn't know how that happened. He's only offered a number of possible explanations for how that could have happened. So he's absolutely blown the chain of custody. And again, he has a prosecutor, lead prosecutor in this case, Jay Bratt, who met with White House counsel uh, and a representative of the National Archives in several times in the weeks before Jack Smith was even appointed. Wow, Maria, this reeks this reeks of crossfire hurricane when the Biden when the Obama Biden administration fabricated evidence before the FISA court lied to the court about it uh, to pursue Donald Trump. And now we're seeing it again in this classified documents case. The judge could dismiss this case at any point in time, Maria. Quote, they tempered with the evidence and then lied to the court about it. Just that alone is enough to get Jack Smith in some serious trouble. And that's on top of the fact that it's already been clearly proven that Jack Smith's DOJ dogs were trying to get Walt Nauta to flip and even threatened his legal counsel with the loss of future career opportunities if he didn't get his client to flip on Trump. That's on top of the prosecutorial misconduct and clear bias and selective prosecution that in my view has already been proven. So Jack Smith has an issue of prosecutorial misconduct, selective prosecution, bias, and now mishandling of documents where the chain of custody cannot be proven and he lied to the court about it. The question is, how did those documents get all messed up and tangled? Well, maybe it has something to do with, I don't know, this photo right over here. We all remember back in 2022, right ahead of the election, Merrick Garland and his FBI hounds raided the home of former President Donald Trump. And what was the big headline? What was the big thing that was bouncing around the media? Well, it was this photo and a couple others, of course, all of which instantly got released to the media presenting this image that there's classified documents all over Trump's home and who knows where these documents are from state secrets nuclear codes sources and methods Donald Trump is probably stealing these secrets and selling it to the Russians we remember that right well that probably explains this instead of handling the evidence properly and legally and taking all the careful steps that are required in any case and especially in a high profile case such as this one instead of doing that no they engaged in clear media theater political theater they took all the boxes grabbed all those classified documents all the ones that they could find classified documents I'm pretty sure most of them are either unclassified since Donald Trump declassified them or are just presidential records that he clearly has the right to hold under the PRA, the Presidential Records Act. But anyways, they laid out all of these supposed state secrets that Donald Trump stole so they could take this picture, release it to the media, and essentially create a big media shitstorm to the benefit of this current corrupt administration. And the last point that I want to talk about is, again, what John Ratcliffe said, that this, quote, reeks of crossfire hurricane. Exactly, and ironically enough, Probably a lot of those documents that they took photos of were documents that Trump declassified relating to Crossfire Hurricane. We all remember Trump's, I think, January 19, 2021 presidential memo, where he explicitly stated that he was declassifying a slew of documents relating to Crossfire Hurricane. A little bit ironic, isn't it? But the point stands that this reeks of Crossfire Hurricane. It's the same sort of setup, the same stitch up. And it gets even worse when you think of it within the context that was recently made public once again, thanks to Judge Aileen Cannon, that the National Archives and Records Administration essentially released pallets of boxes from President Trump's presidency to his home in Mar-a-Lago and to a storage facility in Palm Beach. They sent him the documents and then raided him for the documents that they sent him or that they likely sent him. It does reek of crossfire hurricane because it's a freaking stitch up. They sent him the documents. They then raided his home for the documents and then mishandled the evidence so they could take all these photos so they could create this big theater event. Oh, the former president is a spy. They then floated charging him with the Espionage Act, which is exactly what they did. It all stinks to the high heavens. It reeks of a partisan prosecutorial hit job. In other words, it's more bad news for Jack Smith's little Florida case. Jack Smith should resign immediately. And that's me being nice. I think this guy and some of his goons, frankly, at this point, should be under a wide-ranging investigation. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.